Welcome to Murray Mysteries. Dear listeners, I suppose it's been a while since I last spoke to you directly. Well, as directly as you can when speaking to a microphone. We were all quite busy preparing for the... trip. Chase? Whatever you want to call it. I think having a plan, a direction, is doing everyone some good. I haven't seen them all so cheerful since before... well, you know... I've seen almost everything the human mind is capable of in my line of work, but I'm still amazed at how resilient it can be. After everything we've gone through, Mina is even more determined, Art even kinder, Jonathan even more earnest, Quincy even more boisterous, Van Helsing even sharper. And me? Well, I'm still standing, and maybe that's enough for now. I should certainly think so. Professor, um, how much of that did you hear? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to intrude on a private moment. Oh, well. How private can it really be if it's going on the internet? (laughs) Right. May I have a word? Of course. What is it? I can tell you've suspected it for a while now. We all have. But it can't remain unspoken for much longer. Mr. Harker is changing. I... I was hoping to be wrong on that one. I know. Me too. But we can't be caught off guard again. His teeth are already getting sharper and his skin paler. This time, we have to be prepared for any eventuality. Don't you think he should be a part of this conversation? I do, but... Not quite yet. There's something else we need to talk about. Oh god, what else? His insights into Dracula's mind. They're useful, of course, maybe even crucial. But we can't ignore the possibility that this line of communication works both ways. Oh, you mean the Count could also see what Jonathan sees? Exactly. The element of surprise is one of our few advantages. We need to preserve it at all costs. Even if that means... Keeping Jonathan in the dark. Again. I'm afraid so. I hate keeping secrets. I know you do. I'm sorry, but... It's it's necessary. necessary. I know. Right. Is everyone here? I think we're missing Jonathan. He's not coming. Said it would be better for us to talk without him. Uh, Professor? Yes, I suppose he came to the same conclusion we did. Give him our best, Miss Murray. Now, I've found some flights to Varna for the four of us for tomorrow. Four? Yes, four. Someone will need to stay and look after Mr. Harker, and I assumed you'd be the one to want to do it. I... Let me talk to Jonathan, okay? I'm I'm not deciding anything without him. All right. Let us know as soon as you can. There's still a decent amount of room on that flight, but we can't take any chances. Got it. I'll go see if he's awake. Mina? Hey, it's all right. Don't don't get up. No, I I have to ask you something. Okay, what is it? I I need you to make me a promise. You know, I never make promises without knowing what I'm getting into. Of course I do. You're the only person I've ever met who always reads the terms and conditions. But I still need you to promise. Just this once. 
Jonathan. Please, for me. Fine. Okay. I promise. Thank you. I want you to promise you won't tell me anything about the group's plans, not even if I ask. Why? I, I think you know why. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. That's not so bad. It's not everything. What else? If I ever get past helping, if I become a danger to, to you or, or anyone else, I want... I need you to kill me. What? No! You promised. God damn it, Jonathan! You can't ask that of me! I'm sorry, but I have to. No, look, that's, that's ridiculous! How, how could I even know when to... Van Helsing will know. It won't be easy. I, I hate this just as much as you do, but I can't become like him. No, no, you can't think like that. You're going to be fine. We're, we're going to be fine. You don't know that. I'm sorry, but you don't. Every day that passes, I get closer to whatever it is that happens. And one day it'll be too late. And when it comes... When... If that day comes, you're the only person I trust to do what needs to be done. Oh, come on. You trust everyone. <laughs> you're not wrong, but, but not for this. This is... it's too important. Fuck. Oh, I hate you. I love you too. There's one last thing. Please. I don't think I could take anything else. It, it's important. What? If I die, you need to date Quincy. It's just wrong for a man like that to go to waste. I. <laughs> God, you're the worst. I know. Murray Mysteries is a no storytelling production. This episode was written and produced by May Tudick and featured Drew Victory as Mina Murray, Rebecca Kraus as Professor Van Helsing, Ari Willis as Art Homewood, Tom McGuinness as Quincy Morris and Jonathan Harker. Original music by Sophie Kay. If you like our work and would like to support us, you can sign up for our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash no storytelling or follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Tumblr. Thank you for listening. <laughs>